Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the feature update for the month of April, which has a few nice new features, improvements, and also fixes that we're going to cover in this video. Of course, this video is not going to be in depth with everything that is new, including fixes and so on. If you want to see an in depth video, you can check out the video that I've done from the release preview channel because there I showcased everything that there was to it. But in this video, of course, we're going to mention everything that is new and some changes that Microsoft has done since that update. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal 83% discount and four months free first of all of course what you need to keep in mind is that if you want to have all the new features just go into the windows update section in the settings app and then make sure you enable get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates this way most likely all the features and new things will be enabled for you right away when they are available of course and you should be good to go so in this video we are talking about the build 26100.3 915 or build code KB5055627. So first of all, Microsoft is getting used to announcing new features in the release preview channel and then stopping their rollout once it comes to them being released on the main release. So that's quite sad. In this update, the drag tray is no longer available. Basically, the tray that appeared at the top helping you easily share files in Windows and also the ability to quickly edit a photo before sharing it is also not rolling out in this build. Of course, if you have them manually enabled, they will still show up but for people who don't have them manually enabled this new drag tray won't show up unless you manually enable it you can do that but of course i recommend you wait if you are on the main release because it's better to wait for microsoft to release these features organically now talking about new features in this build of course we have a new recall preview basically recall is coming to windows 11 but for copilot plus pcs so these are pretty much new ai features click to do is also coming on copilot plus pcs which is a tool that can help you do certain actions Actions with your computer. We also have improved search in Windows related to the start menu, file explorer, and so on. Again, for Copilot Plus PCs, basically allowing you to search for things without needing to know the exact name of that setting or file. And Microsoft is also introducing some new settings for Copilot Plus PCs, inside settings, apps, and then actions. There are also improvements for the narrator app as an example, which can now keep track of what narrator has spoken and you can access it later if you want. Another new feature that you may have noticed is the new start menu sidebar with phone link included right now. This is also pretty interesting. We've talked about this a hundred times before, but this is finally rolling out to the main release. So you may start to see this. Of course, this is still a slow rollout. You may not see it right away, but just wait, maybe do a couple of restarts and you should see it. Basically, whenever you connect your phone, you're going to see basic info about your phone, your connection status. If you have Bluetooth turned on the battery level, a quick link or the phone link app to messages, calls, photos, and also the ability to see recent messages, photos, and calls. My favorite feature about this is that you can click on send files and this will appear and this will allow you to quickly share a file to your phone. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to go to pictures and then quickly drag and drop a picture here. As you can see, it's establishing the connection and sending the file. And I almost instantly received the notification on my phone that this file was transferred. So this is a really nice way of transferring files from your computer to your phone using phone link directly from the start menu. Related to the start menu, Microsoft is also adding some options related Related to the pinned app section so you can now right click on this and then you can move apps with this context menu for example you can move it to front you can move right left and so on so these are some quick things that improve the pinned app section in my opinion there are also improvements for widgets so more options for developers that create widgets in Windows 11 and also new ways to customize the widgets in the lock screen related to the start menu there have been some improvements for example the shared file section here and also now the basic Windows such as open, save, dialogues, and also the copy dialogues will match the text size that you input inside settings, accessibility, and then text size. And there are also some improvements for the zipped files performance when you're extracting them. If there is a zip file that has a large number of small files, the performance should now be better. There are also some new improvements for Windows Studio effects related to the desktop icons. Microsoft is introducing some new desktop icons. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to go to the OLAP section in Windows. And for example, if I drag and drop an app from the start, 
start menu to the desktop, you'll notice that now the apps have bigger icons and also no longer show an accent colored backplate. So I think that is also pretty nice and they are easier to see. Also for laptops in the settings, app, inside system, and then power and battery, then power usage, you will now also see some more information letting you know what these icons mean. For example, this means charging, but you also see information about when your laptop is, for example, in the energy saver mode and so on. And there are also new notifications that will help you recover your account, allowing you to add a recovery email or a recovery phone number. Talking about new apps, we have the new Copilot app, which of course it is now a native app, but it now includes some nice new features that are unfortunately available for a small number of people. We have file search, which will let Copilot search within your local files, and also Copilot Vision, which will let you share your window, your browser, and so on with Copilot, and Copilot will be able to give you insights, give advice, and so on related to that window that you've just shared. We also have a new Photos app update, which has a new option, which is Ask Copilot. So if I were to open an image, we have this new button, Ask Copilot, and it will automatically open the Copilot app and let you search for that image or ask something about that image. And also the option to do a visual search with Bing. This is also a new feature related to the Photos app. Other than that, as I've said, we also have new improvements related to Narrator, live captions, and also the voice access apps, which add a few new improvements, support for multiple languages, and so on. There are also multiple fixes in this update. I'm not going to mention all of them, but I'm just going to mention some of them, which I think are pretty important. For example, related to the start menu, the sign out and more options buttons in the start menu account manager were not visible with increased text size. And now that is fixed, you should be good to go even if you have a higher text size. Related to the taskbar, the underlines beneath the app icons in the taskbar may remain visible even after the apps have been closed. That is also fixed. And this was a pretty small issue that basically let this under line open even after the app was closed. Now that is fixed. And finally, there's also a blue screen error fixed. This update resolves an issue observed after installing the April 2025 Windows security update and restarting the device. Affected devices encountered a blue screen exception with error code 0x18b indicating a secure kernel error. And finally, related to Windows update, Microsoft is adding some new information about Windows updates, which will now show you an estimated time for how long your PC will be offline to install updates from Windows updates. And of course, we're also getting the Windows 11 Service Stack update with the build 2.6.100.3.9.10, which ensures that you have a robust and reliable service stack so that your device can receive Microsoft updates reliably. Of course, there are also a few known issues in this build, but you can check those out in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. But other than that, these are basically the highlights of this feature update for Windows 11. Next month's feature update should be bigger. We should maybe see the new battery icons again and, and other things, but we're going to talk about those when it will be released. If you enjoyed this video, of course, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.